today we are going to uh, learn how can you use your text helpers in the previous lectures you learned many helpers but now we are going to start a new helper which is text helper text helper contains some function or functionality uh, so you can uh, use that functionality while working on the text so first of all i have to create a method just a second i have to create the matter so i can easily get this code i'm saying that string helper okay so now i have to load another helper which is going to discuss okay so this is helper is text helper okay so now go to your page refresh the page you can see we have only helpers uh, controller for our helpers and we have we are working on index method whenever you want to access your helper controller it automatically execute your index method so it so makes sense okay so now uh, what you need uh, i'm saying uh, for suppose word limit it takes few parameters first of all you are a string for suppose i have a string and now I'm saying here is my string from shakesy.com and uh, I have to provide this string in the first parameter now I'm saying the length I'm saying okay word limit only two So you can see we have one word second word go to your page refresh the page you can see now it's adding dash 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 after two words you can increase five I'm saying five words refresh the page you can see one two three four five it's adding the dash 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 in five after five words okay so this is very useful uh, functions so this is the word limit first of all if you are saying that we have a character limit character limit it takes two parameters first of all a string first parameter string second is length i'm saying o oh, add dash 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 after 10 refresh the page or oh, you have to echo this out refresh the page now it's saying one two three four space is required one two three four five six seven eight nine ten after ten it's adding the dash 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 okay so this is very useful function uh, if you are working on string okay uh, another function is what i'm saying that echo word sensor for suppose if you want to uh, restrict or eliminate some type of string for suppose uh, I'm going to this is array I want to restrict these words for suppose I'm saying uh, red and I'm saying green now I'm saying blue now I'm saying uh, olive okay so this is your string sorry this is your array my array word sensor accepts few parameters first of all your string then your array your string for suppose i am saying hi i am shakesy red and green okay replace with in the third parameter you have to specify that replace with beep or something like this go to your page or controller refresh the page you can see now it's replacing the red and green with beep beep so uh, if if i'm using the olive and the blue inside my string refresh the page it's all, all automatically eliminating or reducing the 
a string okay so this is very useful functions if you are working on text helper so uh, I'm going to copy this bad boy so you can easily get after some courses or some lectures I'm saying this is text helper so H is capital now we are going to discuss the cookie helper first of all uh, while you are working on cookie helpers you have to load the helper first of all in this time I am saying cookie okay now how can you create your cookie so first of all we need to add a cookie name I am saying cookie name now I have to add the value cookie value what is the value of your cookie and now I have to give the expiry date I'm saying time or I'm saying expiry date in this time I'm saying that plus 1000 so this is the expiry date I'm saying set cookie so this is the functions you need to call you have to provide the cookie name it takes few parameters you can see your cookie name where you expiry date path domain and secure I am just going to add pass three parameter three parameters one is name second is value third is expiry date now you have to specify your name and value if you are uh, going to refresh this you can see it's giving you a an error you can see it's saying expected one at least one parameters i'm saying that shakzy and uh, in this time shakzy and now i am saying shakzy.com go to your page refresh the page sorry it's time not date refresh the page you can see you have successfully uh, add your cookie inside your browser of course now you have to comment this and how can you fetch the cookie so in this time I'm saying get cookie and pass your cookie name here we have added the cookie name of Shakzy you can pass your cookie name here and you have to echo this also go to your browser refresh the page you can see uh, it's showing the shakzy.com because the value of uh, your cookie is shakzy.com so in this way you can uh, use your uh, you can create your cookies uh, by using the cookie helper so now in the next lecture we are going to cover our last helper which is uh, our capture helper so we are going to complete our helper series and okay thank you for watching